Hey guys, so I woke up at about 12 and it's now 5. I did pretty good considering I didn't fall asleep till like 7 or 8. I don't know. Elise is home now. Hi Elise. <laughs> so Elise now has the weekend off. We're not entirely sure we're going to go anywhere tonight, but we definitely will do something this weekend. And I think we're going to go to the shops in a minute, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So that should be good. I'm feeling pretty happy as usual. It's just the new theme of my life at the moment. I'm happy every day, so it's pretty re relieving and relaxing. What you looking at, Willis? You look like a weirdo. You're just staring at the camera and smiling. <laughs> I finished Elise's present um, today. Obviously, I can't tell you what it is because Elise is right here and she might watch it anyway. So. I get to give it to her on Monday and she is going to love it so I'm excited about that definitely excited I'm doing the usual watching a bit of Housewives of Beverly Hills <laughs> I am midway I would say through the second season so I should be finished the third season by the start of next week and then I'll move on and try to find another house real housewives of some place that I like I'm sitting in the car waiting for Elise. I was about to say I'm not entirely sure she knows I'm in here, but she just came out of the front door. So I suppose that means we're going to go in a second. We're going to the supermarket. As usual, here she comes. Look. Well, thank you for joining us. I didn't know where you were. I knew you wouldn't. I, just, I was just saying that to the vlog. I know you so well. It's ridiculous. What are you doing? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Oh, I'm putting out, folder in putting out my pee plates. Um, yeah, this light is blinding, but... I definitely am very tired, so hopefully I can wake up. Oh, I have to wake up early tomorrow because we're going to Elisa's family's house. So, that will mean day daytime vlog tomorrow. So, none of this fucking, excuse my language, none of this using my iPhone 5 torch to be able to see me in the dark will actually get some good footage. <laughs> So I don't know if you could see in that sped up clip that was the one just before this what the car did it was completely ridiculous I can't explain it right now because we're going to the shops and it will take too long but I'll explain it to you later it is honestly the stupidest thing I've ever seen a driver do on the road or the second stupidest and that's saying something that's pretty ridiculous I can't believe that driver did that what an idiot so we're in this amazing store with like Indian cuisine. It's really awesome, it smells amazing. They had a board of carom, which is like a board game in India. And then I just found this. It's the Indian version of Coke, it's called Thumbs Up. It's so good, I'm buying it and I cannot wait to taste it again. I haven't tasted it since I was in India. It's gonna be awesome, this place is incredible. Look at the bag they give. It's a happy face. When we get home, we'll show you everything we got. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh my god. That's incredible. So we got this from the Indian store. Pretty much everywhere in India. After a meal. Um, whether it be at home or in a restaurant. They bring you like a little bowl of this. You take a handful. I can't do it on camera. But um, put it in your mouth and you eat it. It's supposed to help with digestion. It leaves your mouth feeling fresher. And um, it's really good. So that's cool. Reminded me of India a lot. If you ever get the chance to try it, definitely do. Um, they don't generally, I haven't come across a restaurant in Australia where they offer it. Um, but they definitely do in most restaurants in India. It's a good thing to have after your meal, especially if you've eaten Indian. It's, um, yeah, it's tasty as well. It's really good. So I did show you this in the shops. It's thumbs up. It's the Indian alternative to Coke and Pepsi. It's pretty tasty. It's very sweet. Um, it contains caffeine, obviously. I think it's got a lot of... Um, I don't know what it is that makes it sweet. I think it's corn flour. I'm not entirely sure. This one says sugar. I'm not... So, I don't know. But I'm going to do a taste. Um, oh, yeah. And this is on most... On all food packages in India. That means vegetarian, I'm pretty sure. Because um, obviously a lot of the 
Hindu population and a lot of it's just a lot of the population is vegetarian so <clears throat> that is on pretty much everything <clears throat> so I'm going to have my taste test now sorry about my, me clearing my throat so I accidentally opened it and did a first taste but I wasn't filming <laughs> so take two it tastes like India like it reminds me of India so much I would buy 600 ml bottles and they would be like 20 rupees which is about less than 50 cents here in Australia it's so good though it tastes nothing like Pepsi or Coke such a good reminder now I'm gonna get at least to do a first taste as well yep okay first taste time it smells like Coke yeah it doesn't taste like it trust me oh that's it's not bad but it's just odd it's odd isn't it it's like not that much taste comes so what did you think of the other food you bought from there? Yeah, it was good. I'd definitely be buying it again. Is like, that all we bought? The after dinner thing, the after meal things and... This, and then I bought, yeah, and I bought two pre-packaged foods, but they were actually really good considering they were packaged. And it said no MSG on one of them. I did take the other one, but like, I think that's going to be a common dinner for me now. That's awesome, and it was only five bucks. For the two things, yeah. Oh, I yeah. The, the dal, that would be two dollars. Well... Thumbs up, four thumbs up. So at least I have this like little tradition <laughs> where we both get too excited about um, the gifts we get for each other. So I finished making a thing for our anniversary today. Our anniversary is actually on Monday, it's our two year anniversary. So, <laughs> but I was too like excited. So I gave it to her and first of all, I'll show it to you after she tells you what she thinks about it. What do you think about it? It's the best thing ever. Really? Yeah. I love it's you. It's so sweet. I love you too. It's so sweet and beautiful and thoughtful. i got to show them what it is. It's called 52 Reasons I Love You. I saw the idea online. See, I've turned it into a little book. Pretty much what it is, is these are playing cards and I've just like um, spruced them up. And then, yeah, I've just, I'm not going to show you any of it because that's personal, but I've written a reason on every single, on like all 52 cards of why I love Elise. And put like little rhinestones and did the little stickers and yeah. So, so. there's so many little finishing, finishing touches on. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's taken like, hours and hours and I know it did because we'd always disappear. To so yeah, it's like a little book. I think it turned out fantastic. It looks like something you'd buy in a store. Yeah, it looks like a... Are you happy with that? It's the best thing Are you ever. glad I gave it to you early? Yeah. I love you so much. I love you so much. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. God, I'm the best girlfriend in the world. I'm so sweet. Seriously, I can't, can't can't talk myself up enough. Um, but it, it's, it kind of sucks. I do, like I've said before, have something little, like something really small coming for her in the mail. So when I get that, I'll give that to her and film her reaction once again. But is that the best thing I've ever given you? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. Very pretty. Now I'm going to take a Facebook photo of it. Of course you would, just to show you how great your girlfriend is yeah. compared to everyone else's it's partners. So I've moved on now to watching Real Housewives of Orange County. It's actually quite a bit worse. The women in the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills have money, but they don't talk about it that much. They, they, like I'm watching the first episode of this and one of the women's daughters goes, in our family we show each other we love each other by buying things. And I was just like, oh my God, because they were going out and buying her a new Mercedes. And then there's this other family this guy, he's got two kids to two different mothers and then he's got a fiancé and the fiancé is like, he wants me to stay at home and just have dinner ready for him when he gets home and this and that. Mm. Everyone thinks they want to live the lifestyle, but this, like, but when you have it, it's you, this. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, he goes, when I got to about 32, 33, that's when I started to earn seven figures. <laughs> and then you're young and you're excited and you can go out and buy whatever you want. And um, then it's just adding zeros onto the end. And I was like, oh my God. The funniest thing is the house he lives in isn't even as nice as the first woman's house. <laughs> I'm just fascinated by these people because I, like, I guess they live such a polar opposite life to me. But they're funny. These people are ridiculous. Orange County seems a lot more vapid and materialistic than Beverly Hills. And Atlanta, I started watching a tiny bit of it. It seems good. So <laughs> I'm going to be stuck with watching the show for a while. I don't know why I find it so entertaining, but like I said, I guess it's just um, someone living a different life. You want to watch it, so yeah. So this one lady owns her own insurance company. She said she was a single mom and she had to 
find a way to support her kids so she started her insurance company it does well she's pretty rich now <laughs> she was going on about it she wasn't college educated and all this kind of stuff so it was she had to find something that would support her family so and then she was going on and on and then she's like I live in one of the most affluent um, neighborhoods or something and I was like wow lady you said that really fast do you honor do you realize that there's quite a big difference between affluent and effluent it almost sounded like she did say effluent um, for those of you who don't know and for that lady effluent is um, like feces effluence and affluent is like rich so um, and like you know what's the word not rich like um I can't think of it it is it's rich it's like um a nice area anyway so I'll put look up the definitions for you on the thing and tell you <laughs> yeah it's, so effluent is like feces is like a stream flowing out of a body of water and outflow from a sewer or sewage system so pretty much it's like crap and other bodily fluids and affluent by dic dictionary standards it's hold on an abundant supply of money goods or property so it almost sounded like she said she lives in a sewage kind of area I don't know why I'm talking about this this is very funny I'm um, getting a bit delirious sorry it's about time I went to bed it's just gone 12 a.m. Um, tomorrow Elise and I are waking up and going to visit her mum and then going to her grandparents house and I'm going to be mowing their lawn for them so it's going to be a big day, an early day. I've got to clean up this room a bit because I think my brother is coming over. Other than that, I guess tomorrow will be a daytime vlog, so that's good. Um, hope you enjoyed today. It was kind of short. I didn't end up explaining the car situation because, to be honest, I can't be bothered, but it was silly. Um, what the person did was really dumb. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed today's vlog, like I said. Um, I enjoyed the day and I can't wait for Sunday. Um, I really hope Elise and I do go to the zoo, it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. So yeah, hope you are geared up and ready for your weekend because I'm certainly ready for mine and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.